the attempt is to finish them so that there are no scratches or imperfections on the surface, so that the surface itself begins to disappear in the eye of the viewer. And you don't notice it, but you look directly into the piece. When I did shows with Duane, it was like I had to almost have a cattle prodder in the exhibition with a guard to stop people from going and um, touching the pieces. They're very heavy material, yet when you look at them, there's a lightness about them with the light and the texture. A lot of these works are fragile, uh, which easily scratch. Um, and also, they do tend to age um, when exposed to light. There is definitely a conflict between um, the immaculateness the, of, of the finish, the surface, and the natural phenomena of the piece aging. It's very important to have them repolished. The polishing thing happens, and then it's the piece is like new again. You're not just dealing with the scratch. You have to irreversibly alter a lot of surface area in order for that scratch to, to disappear. All things and beings um, change over time, and that history or experience, if you will, is visibly lost when you remove the surface. There was a surface quality that was achieved that may be quite different than what's achievable now using more modern materials. What's important to me as far as uh, from a conservation perspective is the artist's originally intended experience. If there's been damage or something that distracts from being able to recreate that image, then the piece is lost. And I think it's okay to bring it back to that to that level. We wanted to use this exhibition to kind of pose the question, would it be right to actually sort of improve um, the finish, even if the technology had become available, and even if the artist would have wanted that, would it be right to you know, finally make this piece as it was intended, uh, or is it actually far more authentic to keep to the surface that was created in the 70s?